What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Hurricane and welcome back to UTSA Football. This week we're back at the Alamo Dome for only the second time this season as UTSA sitting at 1-3 is set to take on the 3-1 number 18 in the nation ranked Houston Cougars. But right now the need to get a win is very dire for UTSA. If they lose they'll fall to 1-4 and, and have just as many losses as they had one year ago. It's Roadrunners and Cougars up next in week 7. What will it take for UTSA to knock off Houston and get their first ever win against a ranked opponent? They cannot afford to go to 1-4, and, and we'll see if they can bounce back this week after a loss to Southern Mississippi as Newton gets to start on first down if they pass to Jason Todd, the tight end, as he catches a first down. Now Newton on the give to Banks, up the middle, he hurdles and loses the football to the 35-yard line and Houston falls on it. UTSA turns it over on the game's second play as Banks tries to hurdle the line of scrimmage to evade defenders. And now Houston football, their quarterback is Bram Kohlhausen. 17 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, he runs on first down and 10. Running over the middle, across the 15-yard line, and Houston has a first down in the red zone of UTSA here early in the drive. We know how stout this UTSA red zone D can be on first and 5. Kohlhausen is sacked in the backfield, there it is! And it's Brandon Ford who's really come on the past few weeks. Well, the season's only a few weeks old anyway, but he's had a great stretch of games. But Houston answers the sack with a first down pass, and now we're going to see goal to go for Kohlhaus. And the give is to Farrow, up the middle, and he's hit the one-yard line and taken down, they'll say, just shy of the goal line. Now on third down and goal, can UTSA hold him here? They give us the Pharaoh again. Right side, touchdown, Houston. They take a 7-0 lead here early after the Anthony Banks fumble. And now we'll see what UTSA's approach is on offense as Newton takes a snap on first down and 10. Wide open, Kenny Harris at the 25. A juke makes two men miss. And down across the 30-yard line, first down, Roadrunners. Although Banks did fumble, I want to see him get the football again. He's been impressive this year, but Newton rolls out. Play action, and he's taken down. Looked like he actually was looking for a block to be picked up there by Todd as I think Newton wanted the run, but Todd wasn't there to pick up the block. So third down and six. Now block is picked up this time. Lobbed to the sideline. It's incomplete intended for the tight end Trevor Stevens. And UTSA is forced to relinquish the football back to Houston's offense. On first down and ten, here's Kohlhaus and he wants the run and he's not going to go anywhere. Loss of one of the play. Give that sack to Dominant Dominic Carter. On second and 11, the pass is to Wilson. He has a first down. But the guy I'm looking for this week, and we have to cover him well, is Deontay Greenberry. 687 yards already through four games. Averaging over 170 a game as Kyle Jones makes his present felt with a crushing blow on Farrow off the screen pass. It'll be third down and 14 now. Houston trying to get to the 31-yard line of UTSA as Kohlhausen stands tall in the pocket. Lobbed to the outside. It's knocked away. It'll be fourth and long. Now UTSA with the ball for the third time this afternoon as we begin the second quarter of action. On second down, Newton in the pocket, great protection, he'll take his shot long, he's got a man and Harrison can't come down with it, good coverage. That would have set up the Roadrunners inside the 10 yard line and Newton's taken some shots recently having a lot more confidence in his arm I believe. On third down and eight, now here's the blitz by Houston, Newton gets it off and it's caught this time by Kenny. First down in Houston territory on the curl. We haven't seen much of Anthony Banks since the fumble, but he gets the ball on second down and seven right up the middle for a gain of three. It'll be third down and four now. Three receivers right for Evan Newton as he stands tall and fires over the middle. It's caught by Randy Jones in the slot, making his way over the middle, and he gets a first down grab. But now on third and 12, can UTSA do it again? Newton's has to run. He's got room. First down and more inside the 10-yard line. And sometimes I forget just how fast Newton really is. On second and goal, another give us to Banks. Counter out of the shotgun. And he's got room inside the five-yard line. But on third and goal, can UTSA? Can they punch it in the end zone? Here's the blitz and pressure into Newton quickly. The off-balance throw is in the dirt early, like a Donovan McNabb throw almost. And UTSA will settle for a field goal, capping off the 16-play drive. At least they're on the board. Houston wants to air the football with 2.28 to go in the first half. Kohlhausen wants the run. First down and more, and Brandon Ford makes him pay, but not until he gets the first down. New set of downs for Houston as Kohlhausen takes a step out of the shotgun. Here's the pressure, and for the first time, it's Chris Washington with a sack as he gets past the right tackle, no problem, and finally makes a big play that UTSA has been looking for. And it sets Houston back seven yards now as the pass to the outside. This is caught for the first time today. It's Deontay Greenberry 
And this guy can do some damage. 247 yards last week, but now third down and five. Kohlhausen wants the run, and he's put down. Mike Butler sits and waits for him to run and takes him down just shy of the first down marker. And they're going to start with a kicker, actually. This is the junior, Zach Martin. Does he get all of it? He has the distance, but he pushes it wide right. UTSA has a chance now to get some points before halftime. Excellent field position. Newton off the play action. Fires over the middle. It's caught by Trevor Stevens. First down in the Houston territory. And UTSA would just like to get at least a field goal on this drive as the swing passes out to Anthony Banks. Cotton goes to the first down marker. He picks it up and UTSA moves the chains. Ten seconds left in the first half. Newton out of the shotgun. Trips right. Takes a snap. Fires middle. Touchdown! Darren Rose! And Darren Rose has his second touchdown on the season as UTSA takes the lead for the first time this afternoon. And it's Newton's eighth touchdown pass on the season. 10-7 UTSA now. It was an easy inside post. Nobody covering Darren Rose. That was just an easy pitch and catch. And we'll go to the break now. Low scoring. Houston, fans getting a little nervous? We've seen UTSA play against ranked opponents before, but never give one like Houston a run for its money as they have today. It's 10-7 entering the third quarter. Can UTSA steal one from the Cougars? Kohlhausen steps to the line here in the third quarter in the first half. He had he was 10 of 12 for 74 yards, and he gets his next completion over the middle to Deontay Greenberry, who had a quiet first half. We'll see if they go his way more here in the second half. On second down and 11 now, Kohlhausen looks to run, picks up a block, and he almost gets the first down. No, he powers his way through Chris Washington and does pick up the new set of downs. It's those troubled running quarterbacks that give UTSA fits, and now Kohlhausen runs again. Picks up a block, and inside the five, touchdown Houston as Bram Kohlhausen goes untouched into the end zone. Met at the goal line initially, but Houston retakes the lead, 14-10 Cougars. Now UTSA back down by four. They give us to Anthony Banks on first down and 10, going outside, trying to find a corner, and he gets one yard. It's third down and nine now. Can Newton make the conversion from the right hash out of the shotgun? Newton takes a snap. He steps up, stops, and finds Whitaker to the first down marker. Did he get it? They'll say he just did. Great play by Newton. He, it looked like he wanted the run, but he finds Whitaker in the chains move. That's a big play. They will need another big play here on third down and six. And Newton's pass over the middle is dropped by Anthony Banks. He was shy of the first down marker, but that's another drop from Banks. We've seen that plenty of times before. Now can Houston break this game open? Cole Allison on first down. His pass is intercepted. It's Brandon Ford, and that's going to be six. UTSA steals it, and Brandon Ford gives UTSA the lead. His second defensive touchdown on the season. What a play by Ford. I cannot say enough about Brandon Ford. He's been a playmaker through the first few weeks of the season. And now Kohlhausen in trouble again. UTSA has the momentum. This time is the sophomore, Kellen Thomas, on the sack. This defense is coming alive. Now second down and long over the middle. Caught Greenberry to the first down marker. Fumble! He loses it. And UTSA, yes, they have it. Mike Butler recovers the loose football. The second turnover in a row as Deontay Greenberry, the All-American receiver, loses a grip on the football. And Jason Holmes is the man who knocked it out. Now UTSA steals it in Houston territory already with the lead. Can they extend it now? Newton off balance over the middle. Incomplete intended for Kenny Harrison on third and nine. Try not to waste this opportunity. Need nine yards over the middle. It's caught by Stevens. First down UTSA as they enter the red zone now. First and ten. Give to Banks. Counterplay. He's got seven yards of this carry to the 10-yard line, and it appears Banks is hurt, and Danny Moss will take his place now. And hold on here. Before we hit this third and three playoff, a flag is down, and they're going to call encroachment on Houston. They'll move the chains now. First down and goal out of the shotgun. Newton with Banks, or no, Moss to his left, excuse me, and his pass to the end zone is intercepted. No, Foster picks it off at the goal line. The quick pass was intended for Trevor Stevens, and Foster read it all the way, jumping the pass. Houston will have the football at the start of the fourth quarter, but UTSA still has a three-point lead. Bram Kohlhausen trying to regroup this offense after two straight turnovers, but now an interception as Wade takes the hand up the middle, and he's got a first down now in UTSA territory. And now the give to Keith Farrell, back up the gut, and he has a first down, moving the chains consistently now as they found their way back inside the UTSA red zone. Kohlhausen fires outside, caught Jones at the first down marker, taken down by Dallas Johnson, but he moves the chains. Now a give to Wilson, and gang tackle at the 10-yard line. 
by Carter and Adiki and it forces third down and eight now. Can UTSA hold them out of the end zone? Kohlhausen fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Deontay Greenberry. On the game's biggest play, they go to the number one All-American receiver and Greenberry gives Houston back the lead two feet down in bounds. And now it's 21-17. UTSA now playing catch up with 5.34 to go. Newton on first down, looking to run. He can't escape, he's sacked for a loss of four. Houston coming alive now late in the game. And it's third down and 14 for Newton. After to get across the 25 yard line to the 27 as Newton steps up. Looks to run now to the first down marker. Not quite there and he's taken down three yards shy. And now UTSA's defense, they have to get a stop and get the ball back in the hands of the offense. 4.34 to go. Kohlhausen taking a shot long. Double coverage. Intercepted. Mike Butler at the 20. UTSA gets it back for their offense. Butler's second turnover of the day. And now UTSA... They have caught a break. Can they get some points now? They need a touchdown. They're down by four. Second down and five. Newton to pass. He'll take off and run for the first down and more. And he dives ahead across the 35 to the 38 yard line. And now third down and six. UTSA has to get to the 48 yard line. Newton dumps it off. Caught by Danny Moss to the first down marker. And he does just barely get it. The chains will move. 2.31 to go, second down, the give is to Oscar Bridges, and Bridges works his way across the 40 yard line, first down UTSA. Slow and methodical, trying to avoid any mistakes, the give is to Danny Moss, now finds running over the left side, and he gets to the 29 yard line roughly, it'll be third down and two now, as the give is to Richie, battle up the middle, he converts for a first down, UTSA is short yardage back, and he does not fail them very often. Now we'll see Newton throw on second and ten. No, he wants the run. First down and a penalty marker flies in. And this could negate a big first down run by Newton. Indeed it will. It's holding on the offense on Kenny Harrison. Instead of being inside the ten, they're now backed up to the 30-yard line on second and 16. And Newton dumps it off, caught by Randy Jones inside the 25. And down will be third and eight. Here's a big down for UTSA. Inside of one minute, clock running. Can UTSA move the chains? Here's Newton rolling out to his right now. Runs across the 20 yard line, tackled out of bounds and he'll be shy the first down marker. And so here is the most important play of the game. Fourth down and two for UTSA. 47 seconds left. Newton will throw, he fires. It's caught by Stevens. First down inside the five yard line. What a grab by Trevor Stevens. Reaching over the top of a linebacker in UTSA. They stay alive. The hopes are still there to knock off a ranked opponent. Right over the head of linebacker Matthew Wall and Stevens keeps the drive alive. Now first down and goal. Can they punch it in? The give to Danny Moss. Up the middle. Not quite. Stop short. And it'll be second down and goal now. 21 seconds. Out of the eye formation. Moss takes the handoff up the middle again and stop one yard shy. Third down and goal. Two more attempts for UTSA. One more timeout. I form give. Richie Battle. He's in. Touchdown. UTSA. They've taken the lead with only mere seconds to go in the game. 16 plays. A two-yard touchdown. Caps it off. And UTSA could be on the brink of upsetting the Houston Cougars. This Alamo Dome crowd is growing restless. This game is almost complete. 15 seconds left. Kohlhausen dumps it off. Caught Farrow. That's a 35-yard line first down. Houston, they'll burn a timeout. 10 seconds left. Now maybe two, three plays left. And pass to the outside. Caught by Wilson. First down. He crosses midfield to the 49-yard line. And now the last shot for Houston. This is for the game. UTSA drops three safeties back deep in Kohlhaus and loads up. He goes long and the pass is intercepted. UTSA has knocked off the number 18 ranks. Houston Cougars, the first ever win against a ranked opponent, and UTSA gets a win when they desperately needed one. They're now 2-3 two and three with two big wins on the year against Texas Tech, and now Houston, they get their first conference win, and this is definitely one of the biggest wins in UTSA history. What an exciting finish, a big fourth quarter comeback, and Trevor Stevens has to get credit for that fourth down catch over the top of the linebacker. UTSA gets the victory, and next week they take on a team that gave Houston a run for their money in the UTEP Miners as UTSA looks to even up their record at 3-3. Three three. Thank you guys for watching. Be excited. I'll see you guys next time.